and Liliana Vess among them. Typically some problematic cards for blue-white control. I would imagine that's the case. You got a Liliana out there, it looks like, on nine counters. Boy, but Garcia has a lot of cards in hand. So let's see what Crone can come up with here. Having a hand that sucked against Liliana on nine counters is pretty impressive. Well, there's a Siege Rhino. Well, that's resolving. Garcia's going to go down to 16. Crone will gain a little bit of life here. We'll see how Crone wants to move forward. Again, with these Planeswalkers assessing the situation. Also has a 4-4 land out there. That's a Planes. You can see the die on that. But he's playing against a blue-eyed control player who has a bunch of open mana, which always makes things pretty difficult. Yep. Could be a variety of counter spells. Could be Pearl like Ancient. Nullify going to be discarded. Allowing the Siege Rhino to resolve and then discarding Nullify is an indicator that something is up. <laughs> yeah. His hand is probably very good. Fate of Retribution going to take care of those Planeswalkers and creatures. And in fact, it was very good. Yeah. You can see Steven's hand. He's got a Divination he's going to cast right now, so he'll draw two cards. Looks like there's Resolve hanging out in his hand as well. There's a Temple of Enlightenment. Take a look at the top card. It's going to stay on top in a passing of the turn. Thought sees the draw here for Crone. Looks like he's just going to pass the turn back. Garcia with the Negate. He'll pass the turn back now. This kind of game favors Steven. There's a Pearl Lake Ancient. Crone looks like he's going to make his move with the hero's downfall here. Perhaps an Utter End, some sort of removal spell. And it is Utter End. So Garcia is going to pick up three lands. We'll see which ones it's going to be. Radiant Fountain Temple of Enlightenment and an island it means a Pearl Lake Ancient is safe. Goes back three lands to do so, but I think that's okay. Well, this is the stage of the game where the, you know, the Obzon player is trying to tread water for a little while against Pearl Lake Ancient by bouncing it with removal spells that are otherwise clawed in the hand. It takes the blue-white player some time to get through it, but this is a winning position for Steven. It's Thoughtseize time. I think it's negate time on Thoughtseize, and it is. Got to protect that Pearl Lake Ancient hand. There's a Siege Rhino. Garcia very quickly lets that result. Oh, excuse me. Looks like there's a counter spell there. So take a draw step. Play Radiant Fountain, gain a little bit of life, pass the turn back. Three mana here for Jason. Mind Rot? Who? You have your divinations and. I have my Mind Rots. Oh, he's got to dissolve for the Mind Rots. It's been a while since I've seen Mind Rot. Yep. Although Rakshasa's secret has been showing up in decks. Yeah. There's a Flooded Strand and passing of the turn. Garcia's worked his way up to enough mana to be able to play Pearl Legation again if he'd like. And he will try. will play Hero's Downfall. Again, not going to kill the creature, just going to set Garcia back. Garcia will pick up the same lands yet again in Radiant Fountain, Temple of Lightman, and Island. He'll search an island on his deck with a Flood of Strand before going back to his turn. It's going to take a while for Steven to, to push through. Because these obs on decks typically leave in Hero's Downfalls and other ends because of Planeswalkers and uh, it being more important to cut some other cards, like direct creature removal. I like Garcia's positioning with how this game is going. Yeah, but it's going really well. He's definitely having some difficulty just closing things out right now. There's a Corsair. Let's see if thinking a little while about Maybe dissolving that before letting it resolve. Heroes downfall the top card on the deck. It's a dig through time now. So take a look at the top seven. They will take two with them. Looks like dissolve among the options here. 
at this point, this is a, the dissolve is just better than anything else you can find. Yeah. Last breath will take care of the courser. Hero's downfall will be turned face down. And Jason gets to gain a little bit of life in that exchange. Radiant Fountain the draw. That'll come into play. Garcia will gain some life, go up to 15. And he'll pass the turn back. Hero's downfall the draw, we know that. Seven lands in play. We thought about playing Prolocation, but I think he thought better of it there. I really like holding steady there because Steven's hand is, is pretty full at this point. So he plays Prolocation into the downfall he knows about. Then he has to bounce a bunch of lands, get set behind, and then has to discard to hand size a bunch. Yeah. There's an Evolving Wilds. Temple here for Crone. Top card stays on top. Garcia's going to sacrifice his Evolving Wilds, get a basic out of his deck. There's a Plains. He's going to go for Pearl Lake now. And we're going to see this play pattern again. I think this time he might need to discard. Well, he's got a lot of lands. Yeah. I mean, he, he may not necessarily care that much about discarding. There's Temple. Top card to the bottom. And he's happy to discard. Does have a lot of lands in hand. You're right about that. Yeah, I mean, he's discarding three islands, it looks like. Yeah. So no big deal. Tasker, is this resolving? It'd actually be quite good if it did. Crone's got a lot of mana in play. Could activate that thing maybe twice a turn. Hard pressed to imagine this is resolving. I would be shocked. And Jason trying to be really precise with his delve right now to make sure that if this Tasker resolves, he has a good chance of getting back the type of effect that he wants from Tasker's activated ability. And there is Dissolve. So Tasker will not resolve. We're going back Crone's way. There's Temple of Malady. Take a look at the top card. Going to the bottom. Pearl of Kingston again. <laughs> Another hero's downfall. <laughs> He'll run out of him eventually. Yep, there it is. Picking up three lands. Let's go back Garcia's way. Disdainful stroke of the draw. Negate on top. Yeah, and all these counter spells are good at this point. Yeah, for sure. It isn't just dissolve. They're all powerful. Two cards to discard, two lands, pass it back. Go back Crone's way. Crone's casting something. It's a Courser. That's a Dissolve. Scry, take a look at that Negate again. Gonna leave it on top. Pass it back. We'll draw the Negate. There's a land. Gain two, up to 20. Crone will draw. Uh, another, <laughs> another, another Hero's Tower. <laughs> There's Elspeth. Not a chance. The gate. Pass it. Take a draw. Gain two from a Radiant Fountain. Up to 22. Pass the turn back. Stephen is dying to connect with the Pearl Legation. There's a Temple. Top card. It's the bottom card now. Pearl Legation. Crone with one card that I'm fairly sure is a hero's downfall. Yeah, this is his last spell. Jason is like, yeah, uh, yeah, sure, I guess I'll play this again. Steven will pick up his lands again. A temple and two radiant fountains. Draw a card. Flooded Strand among them. There's Temple. Top card becomes the bottom card. Time to discard. 
I guess there's the the hope if you're in Jason's position that you may be able to deck Steven. This is not impossible. He's running very low on resources. Yeah. As minor as it is, there is the hope. Bunch of mana. Garrick. I'm going to take a little look, Skipu. That's not resolving. Just stainful stroke. Radiant Fountain will push Garcia up to 24. Pass a turn. Take a draw. What do we have here? A Johnny. Well, this actually might be resolved because Steven might be happy just to attack this down with Pearl like he did. Yeah. Also, it's Fate of Retribution in hand. Yeah. Giant's going to tick up. Take a look at the top couple. There's a Soren. So Garcia may be setting a little bit of a trap here yeah. thanks to Fade Retribution. There's Pearl of Ancient. Untap, draw, kill that thing. There's an island. This is an Elspeth. And it's taken Garcia a long time. But it was only a matter of time. Oh, absolutely. Jason fended him off for a while, but that, that's not a way to eventually win the game. There's Soren. The vampire token coming. And there is the boss. I haven't seen that out there in a while. No, fewer Sorens, definitely, than we've seen in the past. Part of that's a consequence of just fewer Obsound decks than we've seen in the past. Dig through time here. Pearl of Ancient among the cards. There's a Glare of Heresy, Divination. Also a Jason Ingenuity. Garcia will draw. Copy event hostilities. That creature is no longer with us. Get Soren off of the table. There's a Radiant Fountain. Gain some life. Some soldiers, I imagine, are coming shortly as well, thanks to Elspeth. This is the kind of matchup that Blue Eye Control would like to play against. For sure. Especially post war Steven has access to so many negates, disdainful strokes, dissolves. It's a tough package for an Obzat mid range deck to get through. Jason Crone couldn't do it. Steven Garcia is going to win this match. Two games to zero. Blue Eye Control takes care of Obs on mid range. Garcia with Blue Eye Control, not Jim Davis. Nine and one. Yeah, maybe there's hope for this deck still. I mean, Garcia's got a different list than Davis does. 